she was suffering from lymphatic glands, tuberculosis of the intestines. And the first time I saw a symptom was probably three years before the main diagnosis. That is the situation Diana Wanjiko found herself in a few months ago. The mother of two had made countless trips to the hospitals in a bid to save the life of her 10-year-old daughter, Halua. Despite desperate efforts of seeking treatment from various clinics, the medication administered to Halua was not effective. Diana then decided to seek the opinion of a consultant doctor. Dr. Stephen Cairo, a gastroenterologist, explains what abdominal tuberculosis is. And both other body organs, including the abdomen, there is a, a lining of the abdomen covering all the body organs, it's called peritoneum. And when the TB bacteria invade that lining of the abdomen, then it's called TB peritonitis. Symptoms of abdominal tuberculosis include swelling of the belly, loss of appetite, fever, constipation, weight loss and abdominal pain. The symptoms often mimic those of patients who suffer from other abdominal ailments. Treatment may vary from six months to one year depending with the condition of the patient. Doctors are advised to conduct thorough medical examinations on patients to avoid risk of misdiagnosis. There is um, a lot of misdiagnosis because the doctors are maybe taking a shortcut and trying to treat the things that they see every day and, and do tests like the ones I've mentioned of H. pylori. So we have lost track because mainly of my patients with uh, sometimes irritable bio syndrome, TB peritonitis, being treated for bacteria called H. pylori. That probably is the main problem we have. For Channel 1 News, I'm Lena Nyambura.